Hello, my name is Steve and I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Keurig or Keurig or Kruger, however you want to say it, your single serving coffee system that you bought or maybe someone bought you for Christmas. And I'm just going to show you how to set it up and how to properly use it because when I first got this system, um, I wasn't using it, using it correctly and cleaning it correctly and uh, some people might be having that same problem. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see, I'm, I'm a tall guy, so I'll be kind of bending down like this at an angle for uh, this educational video, this how-to video. So what you want to do, you just got your, your Keurig, I'm not even sure if I'm even saying that right, so I'm sorry if I'm not, but you take your unit, you know, you, you get it out of the packaging, you haven't hooked it up yet. What they want you to do first is when you plug it in to the wall, you're going to want to clean it first. So I'll just take a cup of water, pour that into the top. On the top here you'll see it says 10 ounces, 8 ounces, and 6 ounces. So 10, 10 ounces is the max you can do. Um, if you go over 10, it'll either overflow here or it'll uh, collect in your pan below, which we'll uh, talk about here in a minute. So first, I've already cleaned mine out. What we should do is take a, a cup of water in your coffee cup, about 10 ounces, and put. you're going to pour it in. You then press the power button, and then once you open that, um, that little device there where to put the coffee cups, this, this device, the way it's set up, is when you open this like this, it drains all the water from your water little basin here into the brew chamber. So whenever you open that, just know that the water is going to drain into the uh, brew chamber to get it ready to heat up. So you close it, and then you're going to hit brew. Now that's going to just clean out the system, get out any plastics or you know whatever, uh, so you're ready to go. So let's start from scratch here. Let's turn it back off. So we've cleaned out our system. Um, now let's go ahead and make a cup of coffee. Um, what I love about um, this system is all the different kinds of coffee. Um, if you don't have the time, or if you're single, or if you just don't like having all the extra you know, ground beans and the cleanup from a uh, traditional drip coffee, it's nice that you can have a wide variety of coffees here. So we have um, donut shop coffee, French vanilla iced coffee, chai latte. Uh, my personal favorite is the um, just the regular coffee. Um, the caribou blend is really good as well. So there's all your coffees. Let's go ahead and make Emerald's Big Easy Bold Intense. Not sure if you can read that. Um, but this is one of my favorites. Um, it's just, I don't, sometimes I add sugar, sometimes I just drink it as is. So, what we want to do first, let's fill up the water. Let's turn it on, and you see that there's a light there. Maybe you can't see from here, but it says a blue light saying, hey, put water in me so, so you can actually have, work, have this thing work. So, let's put some water in. Hope you guys are having a great day. This is my first how to video. So, I like my coffee full. So, it's pretty, not to the brim, but pretty darn full. Hopefully, I saw the video freeze up there, but I think we're okay. So, it's on. It has a blue light flashing. Go ahead and pour it in to the desired amount. I'm going to do eight ounces. Okay, close the hat, place your cup, This is, don't, don't forget this, I, I did this when I first started. I did all this and I forgot to put the cup back in there. So, um, this is, I'm sorry, before we do this, um, before I put the coffee, I just want to tell you, depending on what kind of um, Keurig you get, um, they're going to have like a little pan, and so this it's really easy. It just goes right there. Now this is going to be your tray that will collect any excess water for any spills or any excess water that you put in the brew chamber. I didn't know that when I first started and uh, I always wondered, like, I saw my girlfriend and I go, honey, why is everything leaking? Um, and I found out this whole thing was full of water. So make sure you check this every, uh, every other day, every week. If you notice that your unit is leaking, that's why. You probably haven't checked this. So this is very simple. Uh, because of video purposes, I put the, uh, this unit on two books, 
So you can see it, but it just slides in just like that. And then you put your cup under it. So when you have the water in there, you've already cleaned your system. As you see, it's ready to brew. It, the brew button is coming on, but we're not ready. You first want to take that water and drain it into the brew chamber so it can heat up. So go ahead and open this up. I'm not sure if you could hear that, but that was all the water transferring to get ready to uh, take us to the next step. Okay, go and put your coffee, place it right there, close it, and now it's now it's really ready to, to brew. You don't want to hit that button if there's nothing in the chamber. Also, another good point, you never want to put really, really, really cold water in any kind of coffee system because that's just going to overwork your system and, um, you know, it's, it's not good for your, for your unit. Um, you always want to put in lukewarm water, um, never ice cold water, that's not good. So just uh, hit brew and it's going to heat up your water. And what I do when I'm waking up, I'll come in here, I'll uh, pick my coffee, I'll hit brew, it'll do its thing. Make sure you got your cup here, don't forget that. And make sure you put your cup under there after you pour in the water. Sometimes you might forget and you come back and the coffee uh, is everywhere or it's filled up in your uh, drainage container. So yeah, do what you gotta do. Go get the paper, go uh, make breakfast for your lovely family or yourself or your kids, and then come back and it'll be ready. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna edit this video, but uh, let's just see what happens here. You just notice it's blue light when uh, everything's getting ready, and then it turns to red when it's actually brewing. Guessing we should talk. Um, my name is Steve. I am from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I live in Los Angeles. And I love movies, TV, film, food. But overall, I love my girlfriend. And I, I yeah, I'm just living life. I wish I would have wrote some things down, but uh, I'm just kind of winging it. This is my first how to video on YouTube, so. It's starting to drip out some things now. So why that's brewing, let's talk about a few other systems um, I've noticed. I, I don't have the names, but I'm sure you've seen them. There's um, another system like this that's about $150 more, and they're different colors. Um, the name escapes me. I'll probably put it in the description. But their cups, as you notice, these cups, the uh, Kira cups, or Cougar cups, as I like to mispronounce them, these are plastic. So... Um, it's what someone told me who worked at a coffee shop um, selling the other unit was that um, it's sometimes it's better to have the other unit if you want more of a high quality uh, roast. There it goes. Because um, apparently this lets heat out or flavor or something, and the other ones, since they're metal, contain all of that. But it's more expensive. Personally, it's like a white, uh, what we call a white people problem, or you know. Excuse me if that's racist, but um, it's just something that, you know, it's not a big deal to me. It's like a buying a $40 video cable um, that's, you know, plated with gold for better connection um, rather than a $5, you know, Radio Shack cable. Um, it's just preference. To me, it doesn't really matter. This stuff that we make here uh, in our kitchen takes, tastes great with this unit. And, um, you know, it's not for everyone, but um, it works for us. And uh, I know a lot of people probably received one of these for Christmas, or you just bought one. So, it's almost done. Plenty of blends. I'm sure you can find some online. Um, I recommend always searching for things online. Maybe you can find a better price via Amazon. Or, uh, you know, you can just pick them up at Walmart, Target, whatever uh, major grocery store you have in your area. Oh, as you see, I think I had some excess water in that chamber, because look, that thing is filled to the brim. I have to be very careful here. Yeah, that is too full. This is a classic example. You should never overfill your, uh, your unit. Because there, I probably had some excess water from a previous cup of coffee I made today. And it was, I'm not sure, you probably couldn't see it on the video screen, but this was filled to the brim. So that's your coffee. Uh, that's pretty easy when you're done. Open this up, take it out, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Stephen Farrell. You can find me at Stephen Farrell.
dot 